Hey guys, Brendan with Larry H. Miller Ford and Draper. I am here with the 2021 Bronco Sport First Edition. I did a short video on it yesterday just to show the outside. We're going to dive in a little bit deeper today. First thing I'm going to go around, we're going to look at some of these Bronco emblems that are available on there. Great looking vehicle. This is the Area 51 color. We're going to start here at the back of the vehicle. You are going to have your openable glass there. There's not a ton of space here, but there's definitely enough room to gain access in here freely, as well as plenty of space when we fully open the vehicle here. Now, one of my favorite features of the vehicle is these lights right here. These LED lights are a camp light designed to reflect 20 feet back behind the vehicle. Now going back into Bronco Easter eggs here, We've got that little guy hidden right there on that back light. A great option. You're also going to gain 110 power outlet as well as a 12 volt outlet here in the back. With tie down points on your sides, giving you the ability to tie down anything that you need to in the back. Now step into the side of the vehicle. You will notice that safari style roof that's going to give you the ability to put two full sized mountain bikes in the back of this. That's phenomenal storage space in something this small. Now I have the front seat set to where I like it. And I'm five foot 11. I can sit in the back here and I still have a couple inches of clearance as well as more than enough head space because of that safari style roof. Now this particular Bronco Sport first edition does not have the under the seat storage. However, it does have the zipper storage on the back pocket there, as well as the ability to add some pouches down below. And then coming in in the back, you've also got another 110 outlet. All right, we're gonna dive in in the front of this, this Bronco here. <clears throat> With the B&O sound system, you're gonna have great sound. And we're gonna keep that turned off for now because we don't need extra sound going on. You're gonna have heated seats available and then your display is gorgeous when we go ahead and start the vehicle you're going to get that same view that you got there however one of my favorites get our vehicle to fully shut down the bronco display and when we start here beautiful display plenty of space to see and you kick it into reverse that entire screen is going to be your backup camera. So plenty of room there. Now, one of the other features that we've got, because this has the trail management systems in it, you do have an extra front camera as well. And we can change that to a panoramic view to give you a little bit more display. Go back to the original view there. We'll turn that off. Moving on, we're gonna have our goat modes, which are located right down here on that little dial. All right, we're gonna get into those now. We've got normal. Our goat modes are mud and ruts, sand, rock crawl. Then go back over, we'll start at normal again. Economy, sport, and slippery. So there are plenty of options there to tackle any terrain that you might come on. Even if you're just using it as your daily driver, you've got plenty of room there. Now down on your dash here, you are gonna gain, or in your console, excuse me, you're gonna have a wireless charger here, as well as the USB and USB-C chargers with a 12 volt option as well. As well as a little cubby device here on your dash to get or cubby to store things in. Plenty of room inside of your center console with a pen holder there, as well as USB and USB-C outlets as well. Your glove box is going to have plenty of room for storage because we all know when you're off-roading, things rattle around a lot, so you're going to gain plenty of room there. You have two cup holders there, a cup holder in each door, and then moving back into the back of the vehicle, you will have cup holders in the doors there as well. Now these seats, as far as an off-road vehicle goes, and considering it's a mid-size SUV as well, these are very comfortable seats. I can see myself taking very long trips in this vehicle and not having any problem there. And for those of you that need a moonroof, 
there is the moonroof option as well. Well, it's not the biggest moonroof on the market. It is a very good sized moonroof offered in this vehicle for the amount of space that you have on the ceiling that's usable because of that safari tops that we were talking about earlier. <clears throat> if you have any other questions on the vehicle, feel free to let me know. Some of the other functions that are that come on this vehicle are Ford Copilot 360 that is on this vehicle. I know I got a specific request to, or ask, question asking about that in my last video. So yes, this does have the Co Ford Copilot 360. It does not have Copilot 360 Plus. But other than that, it's got remote start and some other great features. We can dive into that later. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you're interested. Shoot me a message. Shoot me a DM. Let's get this sucker gone today. My name's Brendan with Larry H. Miller Ford in Draper, Utah. Let me know how I can be of assistance.